Way before mobile phones, in order to communicate across distances, telegraph lines and relays like this were installed to allow information to travel along those lines. Here in South Australia, these relays were used with the telegraph lines for more than a hundred years, starting in 1860. Of course, a very different kind of line was already being used to share information and had done so for many thousands of years. There are song lines across all of this land. And they connect us to the stories of this land to the knowledge and understanding of our ancestors. The song lines trace the journeys of ancestral spirits as they created the land, the animals and the law. The elders sing the landscape and are able to move from place to place, teaching each other and teaching us when we are ready. Through song, they teach us of animals, of plants, of the seasons, communicating that information through an unbroken chain of ancestors through the lands of many different people. The song lines, they tell us of the patterns in the hills, and in the plains of the plants that can heal us. They tell us of ways in which the animals and how they live and act. And they tell us across deep time and great, great distance. Mm -hmm. Guess who's heading out to the bush tomorrow to help install that telegraph thing? <laughs> I, that's me. Uh, it's pretty isolated out there, I know, I hear. Not a lot going on. But that's why I reckon putting it out there is, is, is the telegraph is such a great idea. Uh, people need to be able to communicate, you know. I mean, there's literally nothing out there, is there? Imagine what it'll be like once all these remote areas are finally connected. It's going to be great for everyone. We'll be able to fill out the vast emptiness of the outback, of this amazing, extraordinary continent we live on, and, and build towns and cities all over the place. Imagine, you know, imagine being able to communicate across vast and empty distances for the first time. This is groundbreaking stuff, on a grand scale, and it gives me pride, I tell you, to work on. Everyone is going to love it. It's a pretty good day, you know, when you get to be able to help connect people in this way. People we've not been able to connect before. Imagine all the information that will be able to be shared from one place to another that hasn't been able to be shared before. <laughs> well then, I best go and pack. <laughs> You know, I see these people traveling up north with their eyes wide shut, with little knowledge of what has come before and of what is there. There is an auntie up north who says they just turned up, bringing their wagons and their wires and their contraptions and building these things upon their land. You know, they started on Ghana land. They cut down trees and then stuck them back in the ground, but with wires attached. They're ever moving outward across countries, never stopping to ask and to ask if it's okay. And as they build these trees with trunks, with wires, more and more of them are heading out across more and more country. And you know, you know, I'm worried. I'm worried for the song lines and for what we, for what we may lose. As more and more of them move across their ancient lands. For many 
there are many lines broken from when a mother was taken away from her mother, not knowing who her mother is and who her ancestors are. You know, no one, no one can know the song lines of a place if they themselves don't know the place from which they have come. This is a pretty cool piece of technology for its time. And being able to connect people through the telegraph was for many a great and glorious achievement. In the same way that the invention of the mobile phone changed the way we live our lives, the rolling out of the telegraph with these relays central to the process allowed people to communicate in a way they'd not been able to before and across vast distances. It also made it easier and easier to move into and across the lands of Aboriginal people. As we have seen though, it is important to understand that stories and information had already been shared across vast distances and for thousands of years, but in a very different and quite remarkable way. It's important to understand that there is more than one way for information to pass from one place to another across distance. When we speak of how much information was able to be shared through the installation of telegraph lines, we must always remember that on the same land and for thousands of years, information on the same land had been shared through song lines. One people's stories and voices travelling in the land and in the song lines, another people's stories and voices travelling in the telegraph lines. It is also notable that for some Aboriginal people, the building of the telegraph line was the first that they had seen of non-Aboriginal people. Permission to cut into the landscape and install these relays and lines was never sought. The telegraph was built on land of many Aboriginal groups because it was just assumed that it could. The other thing to remember is that for Aboriginal people of the stolen generation, in having their ancestors taken away, they had their connection to the land taken away too, and the song lines that connected them to that land. There are songs that many would never know through not knowing who their ancestors were. So while telegraph lines can be broken, so too can song lines, except they are much harder to repair.